Yeah, I'm here with Sarah Hewlett, who was um, featured on the Fake Britain um, documentary with Matt Allwright. And uh, Sarah bought a mattress from somebody who was selling mattresses on the back of a van and very shortly after buying it, just realized uh, that she'd made a big mistake. And we've subsequently found out that the mattress was fake and um, probably dangerous. So we've come to see Sarah to offer her a replacement mattress, a good one from an NBF uh, approved manufacturer. So Sarah, tell me what, what happened? How did you get come by this mattress? Um, I had a chap knock on the door asking if I wanted a mattress. Um, lovely man, very, very polite, sign written yeah. van, shaved in the mattress. So it had a, a it had big a company's it, logo it, it on it, did it? It was a Dreams logo, it okay. was on the mattress and it, it looked the part, yeah. it really did look the nice, part. Nice clean van. Clean van, yeah. very, all sign written. Yeah, um, all very professional. And the mattress was all wrapped up? All wrapped up, it looked, I say it looked it looked the business like the real deal yep. yeah and okay yeah and so, so you got it into the bedroom and at what point did you realize that it was fake when a friend looked at it and said that's not a memory foam i didn't yeah. know what a memory foam looked like <laughs> so strangely enough you just don't but okay um no he said that's not a memory foam and looked at it and, and then he sort of noticed that the the label wasn't actually sewn on it right. was stuck on did the label have a price on it yeah, it, it did. Right. Okay. Right. So, okay. Yeah. And so that's it, always a sign that, that it's a fake. Okay. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's <laughs> that's right. So so um, how did the BBC uh, get hold of you? I I actually um, went on because I went on the internet. All right. Looked uh, looked at the fake mattress um, forums and yeah. I posted on one of some on um, one of the forums. Okay. And they contacted me through that. Did they? Yes. So okay. They sent me an email. Would I be interested in just talking to somebody about it? And it went from there. Yeah. So, yeah. so you've made aware, people aware through national television. Yes. <laughs> uh, that people come round to your house in a white van and sell fake and dangerous mattresses. A lovely van. It was Yeah. Nice. No, that's right. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't yeah. off the back of a lorry. So, so, so what would you say to someone who, who um, answered the door today to someone selling a mattress on the back of a van? Don't do it. It's just not worth it. Don't, don't do it. It's, at the end of the day, you've got to sleep on that. Yeah. Because you're in it for eight hours a yeah, night, aren't you? Yeah, and you, and it's a third of your life. Yeah. You, you really need to be doing it. Yeah, you know, you've really, got to sleep on that. Really you've well. got to account, you know, is it been fire tested? Safety. E even, yeah, the safety issues. You, you don't think about that when you buy a mattress. No, but that's spend right, a little yeah. bit more time thinking about a mattress yeah. and spend a little bit more money. Yeah, it's all and good, isn't it? Yeah, and it's go all good somewhere reputable and then at least then if there's any problems, you've got somebody to go yeah. back to. Well, I must say, whilst we're talking, Sarah, that I admire the fact that you've come clean. You've put your hand up and said, actually, I've made a big mistake and, yeah. and I've been a little bit of a fool. <laughs> um, but, you know, your, your, your actions, having done that, which is very admirable, um, have made more people aware. If it that, stops that one more person buying exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, that's it, really good. It's worth it, all isn't right. it? So, well, thank you very no, much. Thank for your time. You. No, no, it's all good. So Thanks much. a lot.